All right. Uh, I think we're up. That was uh, Carbona's video um, from a couple years ago. Uh, and um, so we're, we're excited to have Tyler Keith here in the shop with Woo us today. Uh, Tyler, get on, get, get on over here, man. Hello. What's up, What's up man? Uh, thanks for coming in uh, from Oxford. You got a new record coming out, yeah. right? Just it's out. Today. It's out. Today. Always a day late. Looks amazing. Look at that. You can play that. Bounce it off your head. Right there. Look at that. Take a gander of that rock and roll record right there. Yeah. So what were you thinking on this new record, Tyler? What, 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 what's on this thing? What's on this thing? Well, it's kind of like uh, actually started with we had a neck bones recording session that didn't happen but the studio was already booked so i started i just went in there by in myself in 2003 <laughs> it was a new thing we we're having a come our big comeback news to me yeah it was secret and then it was so secret that everybody forgot about it <laughs> and then so i just went in there and recorded some songs i had with a uh, at dial back record uh studio down in a uh, water valley um bronson too and matt Patton run that now and uh Bronson is a great drummer and uh he just I just play guitar and he played drums and we just put everything else on it and then um over then I was just basically like whenever you have some downtime let's continue this you know and so we just did that over it's probably a year and a half or so and just uh made these songs and played everything on it and uh Matt Patton played some bass on it and some uh, vocals and stuff as well, but it was mainly me and Bronson. It was just a lot of fun. I really, you know, liked the songs, and it was just kind of, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the last drag. It's, you know, kind of like. Is that the last drag of a cigarette? It could be. Or the last drag strip left in America? It could be that. It could be death. Whoa, wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. It could be just, it's just like, you know, growing up when you're like 50. <laughs> and then you're just like, well, what a drag, but I guess I'll try. Why don't you, speaking of, why don't you tell us a little bit about what, what else you've been up to uh, during these crazy, catastrophic times that we've got, that we find ourselves in? Well, oddly enough, I was finishing an MFA and documentary expression from the University of Mississippi. And uh, I was making a film on, uh, you know, hill country gospel and blues and stuff. And I, uh, so I kind of finished that for the project. I still have some, I mean, for to graduate, um, I still have some work to do on it because of the pandemic. I didn't, wasn't able to interview everyone, but it has, you know, the Reverend Wilkins and Como Mamas, and it had some really amazing archival footage of Junior's Juke Joint, uh, which I got from Miss Eric Deaton. Junior. Barely remember the times it, it was at Junior's ju Juke Joint. That amazing, was, That's yeah. some good times. And it's really about how the, the hill country music, gospel and blues, and, and a lot of music in Mississippi, Memphis, it's families, you know, it's like, this is a, a going way back it's you know it's tradition and it's like it belongs although it's a worldwide thing there's probably some two-piece in switzerland you know hill country blues forming right now but it's it belongs to them and it's yeah i mean you know. i remember the times that i've taken people down that have come in and visited and we've gone and done uh, either the the goat the goat barbecue or we did juniors or you know the times mm -hmm. that we went and did that, I still have friends still talk about them. I mean, yeah. Those things are sort of legendary yeah. now in in trips. And so the fact that you could document them, I think, is sounds great. I can't wait to see how that turned out. Yeah, also, I think you ought to – we're probably going to need you behind the scene. I, I don't know why we got you over here. Okay. Because we probably need some – I, I know we need some help okay. on the other side of this thing. We don't know what the hell we're doing. All right. Well, yeah. So can can we see that movie at any point? Is there? Uh, yeah, I still have I still have some work to do on it. Hopefully, it'll be in some uh, film festivals around here. Or We'd just love to have it at Goner Fest. Definitely. Fest. I hope so. Yeah. 
I think um, that's a that's a yes right there. I think it's a yes. confirmation. Yeah. Oh, we got some great Just movies lined up for Goner Fest. We'll talk about that at some point. Yeah, we got great. We, yeah, we do have a, a Goner Fest that is going to come in an online f format. You also mentioned the Reverend John Wilkins. We've got uh, the uh, Reverend also coming up. I think we've got a video that I don't. I'm not sure anybody has seen um, of uh, the Reverend playing uh, before we get out of this um, thing as well. Uh, so. Good, good to get the word out on um, some magical Mississippi stuff. Oh yeah, it's great. I think those, like to me, my favorite bands are Reverend Wilkins and uh, I love Charday Thomas and the Rising oh, yeah, Stars. Uh, Fife and Drum Band is just, I think, amazing. And yeah. uh, you know, and that's that's just the beginning of everything. I think you've got like Fife and dr blowing the melody. And the the beat with the drum, and that's hill country to me. You it's, know, it's an I mean? instant party. Yeah, it is, and it's, and it's just, primal, and, and like yeah, it, you know, it, and it changes. Like it. it keeps it's changing still. It's still growing, yeah. but it's it's something that goes back hundreds of years, right, yeah. literally, and yeah. it's so uh, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, not to get back to the record thing, but. We are uh, offering for autographed copies of this record. Uh, they're on the Goner cart if you go on there, and uh, Tyler will autograph it for you. And we can give you a shout-out. Uh, we've had a few people uh, that I guess have, have done this uh, already. If you want to um, shout-out their names, Tyler. All right, I'm going to shout them out. Tim Langan. Woo! Yeah, Tim, thank you. Carl Elvers. Carl. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> Brian Hartley, the best. Thank you. Eric Davidson, I love, I know, hey, Eric, all right, uh, Pam Payne, thank you. The rock and roll nurse. Rock and roll nurse, yeah. She's actually in some of the archival footage that I, in the film. I have some archival footage of... Um, I believe it. She's yes. 22. I don't understand I how she could be in, that, in those she's, movies. She's probably come to more shows of mine than anybody just about, and I really appreciate it. She's thank you, Pam. A big, big scene supporter yes. for everything, even t -Sock. That's Sorry. right. <laughs> and Jerry Sims, thank you so much. Jerry, Jerry. Garden Jerry. Grove. Yes, yeah. long-time Goner customer Some, back in the 90s, I believe. Yeah, great friends here. I know I've played with Eric many times. Yeah. yeah. Great New Bomb Turks. Yeah. All right, well, wh what do you think? Should we um, – I think we've got some um, some more magic uh, on the Goner TV to, to – um, jump into, do we not? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we we got uh, we got Sarah coming up, and we've also got uh, Eric. Right. I talked to uh, Dr. Pete Larson, who uh, ran Bulb Records in the '90s, 2000s, and uh, is doing Daggeretti Records uh, right now. He's always kind of been a uh, simpatico kind of label with Goner in the '90s. Just putting out crazy, crazy music, and um, he was in Couch and the Pterodactyls and Twenty Five Suaves and a, a bunch of really great bands. He put out Quintron's first records, and the band Quintron was in before he was Quintron. Just a long, long history, and uh, there's a whole podcast uh, audio thing that's up on the website right now. But this is just a short little little thing of uh, me and Pete talking about. Um, his labels up to this point and now he's putting out uh really interesting stuff free jazz african music um and he studies uh infectious diseases he's an epidemiologist and uh he's in the middle of the covid and all kinds of uh really nasty stuff but uh he knows what he's talking about and he's an interesting guy so uh that'll come after sarah all right sarah's going to tell us about some of her favorite records right now too and then eric and pete yakin uh all right stay tuned we'll we'll have uh We'll have Tyler playing live uh, uh, shortly, 10, 10, or 10 or 12 minutes or so. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. You must be from Goner TV. They said they'd be sending you. I'm Sarah, I run Space Taker Sound Records, 
and I'm going to play some of the records I've been listening to recently for you. Up first, we've got Tiempo Cinco Cinco Cinco. This was recorded by three apartment mates in 1981 in Zarbosa, Spain. This is a reissue on Domestica Records. You all want to go check out their band camp, Domestica Records. They have everything screaming and they have an amazing collection. something called Toto Toto. They refer to themselves as a techno orchestra. I really like that. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to take a second to tell you about House of Tulip in New Orleans. It's the first of its kind. It's a housing center for uh, trans and gender non-conforming individuals facing homelessness. And you can check them out at houseoftulip.org. This year's Toto Toto the techno orchestra. Don't forget to look up domestic records on Bandcamp. They have a lot of great synthry issues from the early 80s that are really just excellent. And since this is Goner TV and Goner Records is a big part of why we're all here together today, I'm going to play you one of my favorite tracks on any Ghana records for this day and age, this time of mass death and mass protest against extrajudicial killings in our country. And I want to take a minute to talk about what I think hell might be. I might be picking up garbage on a hot Louisiana morning in the middle of summer while a garbage truck dumps hydraulic fluid all over your sweaty pants. And you make 10 25 an hour. So you decide to go on strike, and the city replaces you with prison labor. So if that sounds bad to you, why don't you donate to the City Waste Union of New Orleans? CWUlove.com. And I've got one more cut for you guys for our times here in hell. At the risk of self-promotion, the band right here from New Orleans, Heather and John Henry. This LP is entitled, The Future is Dark. And the future as dark, what about the present as dark? We live in a very dark time and I encourage us all to enjoy our records, send money to housewithtulip.org, send money to the city sanitation workers, cwulove.com. Check out Domestica Records, check out Ghana Records, check out Face Taker Sound Records, and Static Static. Granted.
Like, you know, you know, for like a kid, you know, who fucked up home in, in Mississippi, like, you know, it was pretty mind blowing to know that like, you know, like you could do something and like there were people all around the world, you know, who, who would who would be interested in. It. Like that was a really weird thing, you know. Like so cool. It was, it was totally cool. I mean, if you go home, you know, you're not on the football team or something, but you go home and you got a cassette. Like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> wow. I remember I got like a cassette from like Taiwan or some, something like one day. Like some guy sent me a tape. I was like, what is this? You know, like, like how do you find, like, why does this happen? You know, like, it was just crazy. And, you know, I had this band going with um, Jim Magus from um the uh, uh magus you know with the couch and you know we started talking about it we we're like yeah we'd like to have a label this would be cool and we'll, we'll put out our band couch which we didn't even have a song for anything we never even played a show but jim magus you know he had like the best ideas ever and he was the guy that came up with the name bulb records and came up with the idea of like fashioning after the sun records label because he was like, he's like, you know, a sun is everlasting, but a bulb can burn out at any minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never heard that. Amazing. That was it. You know, Quintron at the time just sort of like split off from math and just kind of kept doing the same thing he was doing before. He was a fan of percussion and like, and eventually like found an organ in the trash or something like that and started doing his organ thing. And, you know, I've never turned back, especially after he met Panacea. Like, you know, he, you know, became, you know, he was always, a, always incredibly amazing, wonderful human being. And, you know, you know, hooking up with Panacea like really took him, you know, to the great person that we know today. I saw them at a show with Guitar Wolf at Club Quattro in, in Osaka at the time and i think it was like the first show i want to say first or second show like it was packed i mean it was like hundreds of people there and they played and and they were just absolutely amazing i was like oh my god these guys are good <laughs> it was great <laughs> yeah. so so tell me about the pterodactyls the pterodactyls um i don't know what's what's the I, well, know, what was the concept why did the band that? form why did the band fall? We, we, we had, like, Aaron Dillaway had this costume. And, like, he would be the pterodactyl man when he wore this costume. And we were like, oh, we, we have to form a band around this. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the other bands that, that you put out. So I've put out um, two guys from Kenya, uh, Macadam, who's, who's uh, my buddy stuck in Denmark right now, um, Grandmaster Masese, who plays the giant version of this. Um, did two singles for them, and then I also did a LP for, for this free jazz band called The Heart of the Ghost uh, with um, Ian McCollum, um, Jared Gilgore, and Luke Stewart from Irreversible Entanglements. And I saw those guys on tour here in town and and it was like to me it was like seeing like the Minutemen. it was like yeah. the free jazz version of the, the Minutemen. you know they were just like three dudes like playing this like really aggressive form of, of, of free jazz you know but it was like you know grooving and like joyous and like everything you know like everything at the same time and you couldn't help but like love all the noise that they were making you know Awesome. And, you know, they were totally like, you know, get in the van, just go wherever, you know, play anywhere. If you get two bucks, who cares? You know, like, you know, just just the coolest dudes ever. You know, I got I to gotta give a plug, right? You know, um, wear, wear your damn mask. It's absolutely serious. You know, there's nothing wrong with putting a piece of cloth in front of your face. You know, to go into a store, if you work in a store, you should wear the cloth on your face. Um, definitely don't go hang out in bars as much as I love to hang out in bars and love shows and all those kinds of things like they are just absolutely like you know the best place for COVID-19 transmit you know if you don't want to get sick and you don't want to see your friends get sick you'll stay out of the bars you know yeah. for sure 
and I know that's hard for people. If you're going to hang out with people, go hang out in the backyard, sit outside, get some chairs, spread apart, you know, crack a few beers, you know, hang out, talk, do all all the things that you do, you know, but, you know, this is a very serious time. Totally. Yeah. Cool, man. Thanks. Thanks for talking to me again. Uh, Dude, thanks. Thanks for hanging again. It was totally fun. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be in touch. We're looking forward to uh, more from... All right, all right. Straight into the blogosphere. Live from Ghana Records, Tyler Keith. Well, I almost forgotten where I came from. And all the folks who made me what I am. I feel my heart with guilt. Once you cut those ties to give yourself some freedom, well, you know, you can't go home again. All the trouble I had back in school, all the trouble I got in downtown, and the fights with my folks. Tore us all apart Well, I knew I had to go And I remember why I can't go back there Yeah, I had to leave for my life to begin Yeah, once you cut those ties to give yourself some freedom Well, you know You can't go home again Sometimes on the road I'll pass by them And I'll drive right by the exit To my old house It makes me feel so down Because I know lives there and I know that I live everybody down and I remember why I can't go back there yeah I had to leave for my life to begin yeah once you cut those ties to give yourself some freedom well, you know, you can't go home again And I remember why I can't go back there Yeah, I had to leave for my life to begin Once you cut those ties To give yourself some freedom Well, you know Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. Just a little word of advice. Never um, date anybody with a scorpion tattoo. Just thought of that. But uh, this song is about, uh, you know, it's scorpions. Not the band, the scorpions. Just a scorpion with a stinger. 
Well, this song is kind of about that. It's called I'm a Born Again Virgin. <laughs> Be staying tonight if you want to party later out at the Lamar Motel. I got, the, yeah, I got the bathtub room. It's got a bathtub. A couple bucks extra, you could get a towel. Exactly. I'm staying in room 19.
lies and cruelty are the burdens that I must bear in falling in love with you, dear.
job on the outskirts of town But the cops kept putting me down I took his money and I took his wife Now we gotta hit the big city tonight I'm bound for the crime scene I was born with a criminal gene I was living right away from my old friends Not getting high with my criminal kin I just couldn't I started drinking gasoline I was born with a criminal chain No matter what, I'd do the wrong thing If I go to church and pray I'm bound to do the wrong thing someday The criminal gene. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, this is a fun from me. I have the title track from the album. I'll try. I haven't played in like months. This is the longest I've ever gone in 25 years without playing. Feels good. We'll be back one day, everybody. Just hang in there. I'm going to give it a shot from the record. It's called Scarlet Fever, and it goes out to some of my friends who got the COVID-19, um, David Garrett and some others who really suffered. And um, 
it's really a, a real thing and a lot of people have died and a lot of people suffered a lot of musicians um so uh yeah wear a mask and not like everything <laughs> Without my defenses, I feel alright if I look to the sky. I don't know what I say, but I'm bound to pray. It's not too late, I'm about to break. Shaking with fever, burning with chills, lining my bed against my will. I'd be with her if I could. I've got scarlet fever in my blood. about to break, shaking with fever, burning with chills, lining my bed against my will, I'd be with her if I could, I got scarlet fever in my blood. Okay. All right. I left town trying not to return. I was down trying to make some changes. Surrender to the beat temptation, to the beat temptation. Took the road down south, trying not to get too lost. Spent the night in a motel. Just 
last song on my new album i've never played this either so uh we're gonna give it a shot it's called something what is it called oh yeah have you ever gone insane they got this pl place in uh the lafayette county jail and if if you're fucked up in the head they put you in this um cell there's a chair in there and they they lock you down on it and put like a ball in your mouth <clears throat> it's it's really it's really good for common common people down. <laughs> Have you ever gone insane? Have you ever gotten your own name? Yeah, walked out in the rain. Yeah, lost track of your brain. Have you ever gone insane? 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 Have you ever lost your mind? Lost all track of time? Really go blind. You're not seeing the signs. Have you ever gone insane? 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 Why can't anybody else see? Is it only me? I can't. I hope it won't be long. All I can do is sing this song.
Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Connor. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Uh, Sounded great, man. Oh, yeah. Gone insane. A couple great. times. Uh, there's been a couple Woo. times where I did feel like I was going a little bit insane. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know about that. Insanity. Know what you're talking about. I uh, believe temporary insanity. I don't want to go to that like room, that though, that you're yeah. talking about. That room no. sounds bad. It's not, no. it's not cool. It sounded, that did not sound it's like It's like it. the electric chair, but with, like, they don't electrocute you. But <laughs> yeah, please electrocute me. At that I point. know. Yeah. I was wanting. I was like, That's a different song. It, with. it is, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, by maybe uh, Jane County, the electric she chairs. Did it. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if they, that was just the name of the band. The or plugs. Um, I think she might have gone and said. Me. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's cool. a lot of. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's not, it was nice to get to watch you play uh, music. Nice man. to hear some loud heard, guitar. Heard some right live, my live music and a loud guitar here in the shop. Hopefully it sounded good out in there, in while, while. Uh, out in internet land. We appreciate yeah. you tuning in. Sometime soon, hopefully. Maybe maybe not real soon, but sometime soon, maybe we'll get to do this all again in, in front of people. But right now, it's the best we can do, so we're trying to get it out to you. Um, yeah, thank you. I really needed that and enjoyed it. Good. And yeah, like I said, I'll be, I did too, I'll be buddy. down at the Lamar later. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, if you can get in. I've seen the lines outside your, uh, your place. Yeah. Uh, it's a good joint, though. It is. There's a lot of good stuff going on down there. Uh, well, let's see. So what else we got? We got, uh, I think we got a couple other things coming up. Um, we're going to do, uh, we got some Goner Fest action that will be happening a lot of goner fest news coming soon um so stay tuned for that uh all online um uh, we're gonna have live acts uh some uh panels uh people talking about stuff that's of import and uh movies real movies uh and hopefully uh you will want to see these movies the country teasers movie uh we've uh, figured out and and a bunch of other really great movies that uh, you probably haven't seen but you got to see it's it's going to be a goner fest it's going to be uh it's going to be tough i wish everybody could come to memphis and have a good time uh with us here but we're going to try and make it as fun as we can uh doing it as safe as we can so right we're going to try to bring memphis to you or goner fest to you so um you know that is that is like our best example of uh the community you know everybody coming here to hang out and see each other and it just enjoy Memphis. So if um, it, it, we're going to do the best we can to bring it, bring it straight through the internet to you. Uh, Zapped right through the interwebs. Uh, and then uh, the, uh, let's see the other clip that we got coming up is uh, the Reverend Wilkins clip, uh, which I think is from uh, a live clip from him from Diddy TV recorded here in a studio in Memphis um, from a few years back. Uh, and I, I don't know whether that what we just dug it, got it dug out of the archives. Um, thanks to the Diddy TV folks. I don't know whether this has really been out there, but it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, hopefully you saw uh, Reverend Wilkins at uh, one of the Goner Fest appearances that uh, he made. He did a couple and uh, he's uh, he's incredible with his daughter singing back up and uh, oh, you'll see. But uh, um, super proud to have him at Goner Fest. Yeah, and we're excited to be uh, be able to do uh, uh, an upcoming uh, do, do do a project with them coming up, and there's more info coming on that next week. A lot of exciting news about that. So, can I make a quick plug? Yeah, man. See this? Uh, my dad makes these um, handmade. Um, wow. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, th these. This is a um, an actual um, rattlesnake. He will hand make you a rattlesnake strap. From the Panhandle of Florida. Wow. So just uh, yeah, just just. How can you get in touch with? Just the, uh, your dad? PM you want to be me. A real and, uh, badass. His name's George Keith on on Facebook. Wow. Uh, but uh, you can just PM me. Is that what you say? That, that yeah, looks like a sturdy strap. Too, it's very you know, sturdy. Yeah. We'll it's get it, you the info. Hit I've us, hit us up and we'll, uh, we'll pass along. I know he's yeah. really done well on this. This is a, lot, a real snake. Yeah. If you have your own snake, it will be a discount. <laughs> He doesn't have to go find it. Right. It'd be a, you can just put it in your freezer and send it to Send him. it to him? Yeah. Just get some dry ice when you're ready if to I, send if it. If I only have a lot of room. real little snakes, can I send it he to him? He can do something, okay. yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I've seen snakes, but they're, He's not, a master. they're not very big. Yeah. He's a retired dentist. He's really good at stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. 
All right. All right. Well, here's uh, Reverend Wilkins. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks for being here, guys. Thank you.